Ever wonder what a compression test kit is for? Uh, how to do a compression test? Uh, when you should do it on your outboard motor? Well, this video, I'm gonna go over all of that. Uh, so stay tuned. So a compression test kit, you can get them roughly around 20, 30 bucks. Decent setup. This one's from Harbor Freight. It was, uh, it comes with everything I would ever need as far as compression testing. So something I am setting up in my regular routine for my annual checks is a compression test. Uh, now the reason I do this is to make sure that the motor uh, stays in good uh, healthy shape that it's getting proper compression in the cylinders uh, compressing that air and fuel down to uh, the spark plug and uh, getting a lot of torque uh, pushing the boat through the water uh, I, I always want to check at least at once a year to make sure my cylinders are still e even out that way I know that they're all running together at least. Um, the compression test kit is what helps me do this. Uh, the process is real easy. You'll take your hose out. Uh, there are a couple other attachments mixed in here as well. Uh, you'll take your gauge. Put them together like so. And then at the other end, it's threaded right there. So what you'll do, you'll find the adapter that will fit the spark plugs on your motor. And that's what you'll be attaching to the end of this and is threaded into the spark plug hole. Now on here, uh, what you will want to do is remove all the spark plug boots. Uh, if you don't already have them labeled, try and have them labeled. That way you can remember exactly where they go back. It makes reassembly a lot faster. You'll want to unplug the boots as well as the plugs themselves. All right, plug boots are off. Next is remove the spark plugs. All right, now that I have all the spark plugs removed all right now that I have all the spark plugs removed I can move on to the next step and that is running a check on the compression so that adapter that I was talking about right here uh, you want to go through and find the one that matches with your threads for a spark plug And you'll want to snug that down. And normally it would already be attached here, but I just haven't hooked it up yet. But you'll snug this one to the adapter. You'll want to make sure you have a nice, not overly tight, but good solid grip. And set up your gauge out of the way and do a crank uh, you want to do several turns on the motor uh, to let it fully build up compression uh, so you can get an accurate read and always before you go to uh, get a read clear it completely uh, put, hit the little button on the side and it'll release the pressure so here's my read uh, I normally get I've been getting about 80 across all my cylinders, but normally your next step, uh, remove your hose. And after you remove your hose, you just go to the next cylinder. And 
After you snug this down, you just continue the process and don't forget to reset your gauge as well. So that's the basics on a compression test on an outboard motor. Uh, the concept works basically the same way on the inboard motor, on your car, on your lawn mower, whatever. Uh, you want to look up the specs, find out what's right for you. Now, compression test, uh, I like to do that annually uh, with my seasonal routine uh, just to make sure that the, uh, the cylinders are all meeting around the same. Uh, you don't want them more than about 10 to 15 percent off from one another. Uh, uh, otherwise, that, that's a sign of uh, more severe damage. So, but I hope this helps. If you if it was helpful to you, uh, go ahead and like it. Uh, if you did like my video uh, and you've looked at others, make sure to subscribe so you can get notifications on when I get new stuff posted.